Hi everyone, I'm Alan from BH, and today we've got a brand new video camera from Sony. It's the FDR X1 4K Handycam. It's the first consumer prosumer 4K video camera from Sony, and Sony actually uses technology developed for the professional video cameras to create a compact model that's easy enough for individuals to capture 4K video. 4K capture at this price point is going to make a lot of people very happy. If you're a professional videographer, offering that 4K package will actually differentiate you from other competitors, and you'll be able to charge a premium for that service. And if you're an enthusiast who owns a 4K TV, that screen's surely going to be waiting for some content that matches it pixel for pixel. Now, 4K is not quite mainstream technology at this point. Few people in 2013 have 4K displays, and most folks' home computers may not be up to the task of editing 4K data. So keep in mind that the AX1 is quite capable of capturing HD formats such as 1080p at 60, 30, and 24 frames per second. So this is definitely a camcorder you can grow into. And for you wedding videographers, you'll be able to use the camera's pro-quality 50 megabit per second HD codec, even if the client doesn't spring for the 4K package. But 4K video lets you capture the world around you in stunning detail. Its 3840 by 2160 resolution will allow you to capture four times the detail of standard HD cameras. The combination of the Exmor R CMOS sensor along with the camera's processor will allow you to record a maximum frame rate of 60 frames per second even while shooting 4K video. This means that any action shots will be sharp and detailed. I tested the AX1's 4K format and found the camera's low light ability wasn't the best I've seen. Of course, you should keep in mind that the camera uses a single 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, which is relatively small if you're used to DSLR video. However, footage looked great when I was shooting outside during the day. In order to provide a 4K video image in a consumer model, Sony designed the AX1 to work with its XAVC-S, an MP4 codec that is based on the XAVC codec used in its high-end Cine Alta line. With that MP4 wrapper, you're able to edit your footage natively in Sony Vegas 12, and that license for that NLE software is included with the camcorder. With other NLEs, you might have to convert your files or use a plugin. And you should definitely have an updated graphics card with the very least 4 gigs or more of RAM for reliable performance. I found that trying to edit 4K files in an older iMac with Premiere CS 5.5 was an impossible task. A highlight of the AX1 is the ability to record video at 150 megabits per second in 4K which is great for the overall image quality if you decide to present your footage on a larger screen. It's not 4K RAW, but 150 megabits per second 4K is much easier to manipulate in post. And by contrast, 4K RAW can be as much as 960 megabits per second. At that bit rate, you've got enough information so that you can manipulate your images in post without them breaking down. So it might be a bit of a sweet spot in terms of quality and usability. With the XAVC-S format, you're able to record almost an hour of 4K video at 60 frames per second on a single 64 gig XQD card. This camcorder actually comes with a 32 gig XQD card, so you know, you'll be ready to shoot 4K right out of the box. The X1 is one of the first prosumer cameras to include a high-speed USB 3.0 output that will allow you to offload your content in an easy, time-saving manner. The design of the camera is similar to that of the Sony NX5U camcorder. It even uses a 20X Sony G-Series lens that offers a 35mm equivalent focal range of about 30 to 600mm. This lens offers three manual control rings for focus, zoom, and iris, and an ND filter located next to the lens base. Unlike other camcorders today in the market, the AX1 has many manual controls in the body rather than relying on the touch panel LCD screen to address critical camera functions. I was able to adjust the gain, the white balance, and the shutter speed without fumbling around the menu looking for those functions. Speaking of the LCD screen, no 3.5 inch LCD could do the job that 4K requires. Clearly, you're going to want to use a larger external monitor. The objects I thought were in focus were a little soft, and I realized this after getting it to a larger screen. And for that reason, I recommend using the peaking feature, but even still, a larger monitor is crucial for critical focus. If you're an experienced videographer who's used to manually focusing, you shouldn't have a problem. However, I found the autofocus on the camera wasn't ideal. On the output side, Sony decided to forego an SDI out and went with the more consumer-friendly HDMI. With a compatible Sony Bravia 4K monitor, you're able to view a 4K output with a supplied HDMI cable. That's going to be huge for early adopters of 4K TVs. In mere seconds after shooting, you're able to wow your friends with 4K video clips right out of the camcorder. It's full native resolution on a 4K set. There's also a composite RCA AV output for lower res or standard def monitors and projectors. Powering the camera for a reasonable amount of time will require you to use a Sony MPF 970 battery, which of course comes in handy if you're filming weddings or doing any other kind of run and gun shooting. 
In my test, I captured the footage with the Sony AX1 to give you an idea of what kind of detail range this camera can give you. The first clip I shot at was at 1920 at 1080 at 50 megabit per second. And the second clip I shot at was at 3840, 2160 at 150 megabit per second. If you're on YouTube, you can click the gear on the bottom right to switch your window over to a higher resolution, so long as your monitor will support it. Of course, you won't see the 4K playback, but as you can see, the image overall is still quite sharp and the colors hold up well. Sony also offers the PXW Z100, a professional version of the AX1 which offers an intra-frame compression, does cinematic 4096 by 2164K, and includes a shotgun mic. Well guys, that's Sony's FDR AX1 4K Handycam. Overall, I was happy with the camera's performance, and with 4K image recording at an affordable price, this camera sure to win a lot of fans among videographers. I'm Alan from B&H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.